Jermaine Ortiz versus Teofimo Lopez in the scoring controversy. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Boxing Unwrapped. If you're new here, please subscribe, share, and comment down below. Also, I'm an artist, so sometimes I'll put my B-roll as my artwork in the process here while I do the commentary. Sometimes not. Sometimes yes. If you like anime, manga, boxing, this is the right place for you. Now, let's talk about this fight last night. Now, listen. I did pick Jermaine Ortiz to win against Teofimo Lopez. And I said it's going to be a split decision, close win for Jermaine. I wasn't really wrong about that. And actually, I thought he won the fight. The problem is that scoring is boxing is so subjective, right? You have, and, and, it, and, I don't, and it befuddles me why they do this. They sit one judge on one side, one judge on another side, and one judge on another side. Each judge got a different view. So they're actually almost essentially watching three different fights. Jermaine had a great strategy. Go backward, southpaw, keep him on the outside, combinations, clean punching, which the casuals, which are the loudest on Twitter and anywhere else, will say he ran. Well, he actually in CompuBox threw more punches and landed more than Teofimo. Now, Teofimo looked at the aggressor trying to make the fight happen, but it really wasn't that way at all. It was really Ortiz putting a great little clinic there on how to fight a guy with a lot of power that's going to come straight forward. Think of this fight of what Haney versus Tank would look like because Haney would do the same thing. He's going to move away. He's going to keep him coming forward while picking him off as he's trying to come in. Tio did land a couple of great punches during the fight. But if you notice, Jermaine put up his guard to block some of that power, hence why he never really was hurt, hurt, hurt during the fight. And also, you don't want to stand there. Casual fans just want you to stand there and get beat in the face, and they think that's a great fight. That's not a great fight. That's not boxing, right? Boxing is figure out a way to beat the guy with the style that he has. And if Teofimo is a counterpuncher going backwards, right so he wants you to go forward he'll move back counter you once he has you hurt because he has good pop he'll finish you well ortiz said well let me go backward make him come forward i'll pick him up with combos hold him turn him around do the same thing over and over rinse and repeat but the fact that i'm almost not mad at 115 113 which means if you know okay if you would have put his foot down on a couple of rounds he would have won the fight but 117 111 this is what's wrong this is like when Adelaide Bird gave Canelo the win against Mayweather by such a wide margin right no one thought that Canelo even won that fight but let's say if you had it at least for Canelo it wouldn't be a shutout right that's essentially what they had this judge had Jermaine losing on a shutout basically two rounds to 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 eight which is I mean to to, to ten which is crazy it's insane that that boxing still does this I mean in my opinion the, the judges should be in a room with an overhead camera watching a fight without sound judging, judging it primarily from the same vantage point you know, at that point, you might not even need three judges, right? Because you don't need three opinions. You're looking at the fight. But let's say you keep the three, at least they're watching the same exact thing. You're still going to have an opinion, but it shouldn't be a wide margin. You shouldn't be watching three different fights. You know, and I told you, it depends on which Teofimo comes in. Teofimo came in thinking he could knock his block off. And Jermaine said, I got you. And, you know, I feel bad for the kid because I don't want him to turn into the opponent because he has great skill. But this is the kind of losses that takes that away from him. So I hope he rebuilds. I hope he, he's gotten way better since he, when he fought Loma. So I hope he rebuilds, goes back in there, maybe gets the rematch, maybe goes on to fight Matias. You know, maybe that's the fight that we, we need. But I don't hope not right away because that's, you know, maybe get a couple more fights at 140 and you know see where he's at but man you know we need to stop this in boxing let me know what you think down below 
uh, do we need to change the way we score? Do we need to, you know, change the way judges are sat in, around the ring? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.